GoPro gimbal cropped out. So we are going to do a quick replacement circuit board. Show you guys how to do this. Fairly easy. A little bit of soldering involved. Nothing too difficult. Here is the new board. And uh, I'll give you a couple pointers right now how to do this smoothly and save yourself some money from having to buy a new, uh, new board. And this one, the same. Removing the circuit board, you need to remove the bushings. These four bushings on the corner and then you'll have uh, the ground and the hot free to do your soldering. And this cable here, this one here, is hidden underneath the uh, access motor down below. But the first thing we're going to do is remove the bushings. Removing the PC board, all you have to do is unscrew these here. Four plastic screws. Then you can disconnect these two lines. I had these. Removing the board, when you disconnect the uh, leads going down to the motors, make sure you mark left or right to... You don't end up messing up unless... You can just take one out right now. And they come out real easy right there. And you can put that one... You can't mess them up. There's either left or right. There's no other place on the board it could go. And insert it right away. And you will not screw them up. The only other thing that will be left. This line with this controller here is what's going underneath to the bottom access motor. If it was working before, you can choose not to replace it. really doesn't matter which way you put this back in any particular direction but it's nice when the wires are hidden underneath this is going to be your gyro stabilizer um, this is the old one this is a new one you must mount this on the bottom of the pivot and it's going to be circuit board up you can use uh, double sided tape this one happened to be mounted right here right there okay I'm going to use double-sided tape and then power it up okay we got I put two layers of double-sided tape but it's circuit board up and just push down a little bit squeeze it just to compress it and make sure it's sticking good and you'll see the position there let me uh, power up over here Okay, you get a red light status indicator and then it'll stabilize. Green lights on. And that's it. There you go. It's all set up. If you turn this with the circuit board down, the GoPro is going to turn 90 degrees over. Or 180 degrees over. And well, that's it. Ready to go. Alright, we're going to power this up. Final test. Power's on. Red light initialize. Green active. And stabilize. Alright, here's the uh, true test. Let's see how this works. There you go. See that? Stays completely straight. There we go. Alright, there's a quick fix for you guys. Peace.